coast. And we're going to tell you a story that is so sad. Today we're talking about the man Biaka Boda. He decided to pick up the name Victor. Because Victor means victory. He saw himself as a victorious child. So he picked up the English Victor and not Victoire as in French. Biaka Boda. Today we're talking about Victor Biaka Boda. <laughs> Victor Biaka Boda, whose photograph you see right here on our screens, oh my God, in the African history class, was born on February 25, 1913, only four years after Kwame Nkrumah was born. Hey, and he died. My brother, my sister, mm -mm -mm. on January 28, 1950. My brother, how old was he at the time of his death? Very, very young. He was born on the 25th of February, 1913, and he died in January, on the 28th of January, 1950. My brother, my sister, he was only 37 years old. Oh, my God. 37 who was Victor Biaka Boda? Alpha Blondie mentioned him in a song called Bori Samori. And we'll play that one later. So you can hear his name. Biaka Boda. Listen to this interesting story. Biaka Boda was a shaman. S H A M A N. What does it mean to say shaman? It means he belonged to the religion known as shamanism. Shamanism is a religious practice that involves a practitioner interacting with the spirit world through altered states of consciousness, such as trance. Now the goal of this is usually to direct spirits or spiritual energies into the physical world for the purpose of healing, divination, or to aid human beings in some other way. He was a shaman. He believed in spirits. He would pray and get into some kind of a trance, like what our Oconfors do, and be able to go into the spirit world and bring out spirits to be able to achieve something in the physical for them. So when we hear a comfort saying, Asamanfo, Asamanfo Mumpio, and people will shout, Yow, Asamanfo, that is a form of shamanism. He was a shaman. Hey! People feared him. While some were Muslims and Christians, Biaka Boda was a shaman. Every meeting when they said pray, he would pick up his calabash. That was his prayer. Eish. My brother, my sister, he was a strong Pan-Africanist. He didn't believe in anything white. Everything black he believed in. But interestingly, he was most of the time seen wearing suits. Then he went into politics in the Ivory Coast. Hey! And you know what happened? When he got into politics, he decided to add Victor to his name to mean that he always won. Hey! Sh you know what thing happened? He was a member of the Democratic Party of Cote d'Ivoire. That's the African Democratic Rally. And in 1948, you know how old he was? Oh my God. In 1948, 
A little above 20 years, my brother, my sister, in his 20s, he was elected to the French Senate. Oh, my God. As a parliamentarian. He served his people well. Mm. He served his people so well. He encouraged people to be Africans and not French people. He wanted the local languages of the Ivory Coast to be spoken in parliament and not French. Anybody who came to meet him in, the, in his office, he spoke the local dialect to the person. He would ask you first and foremost, which language you are comfortable with. And you will fill a form before getting into his office to tell him what language you were interested in. French was the official language and still the official language of the Ivory Coast. But if you entered in his office, yes, there was a French form, you will feel. And the languages you could speak with him did not include French. My God. Biyakabuda. My brother, my sister. Now this is the end of the story. One day in January, he and his driver, he didn't like driving because he was always in a trance. He didn't want to be dr driving. Then all of a sudden, he would go into a trance and crash his car. He was driving with his driver one January afternoon, the 28th. And then they were driving through the bush to the parliament house. Then the car broke down. When the car broke down, listen to this interesting story. It broke down. And his driver got under the car and told him that it was a small problem. He would fix it. The driver fixed the car. Honorable, come and sit down and let's go. Honorable said, let me go in the forest and pray and thank the spirits. He walked into the forest. He was praying. All of a sudden, there was silence. Driver waited and waited and waited. And look at the news that came out. Kia tue biakaboda. That's French. It means who killed biakaboda. And when you look at the bigger one up there, it says trahison. And you know what that means? Not transitional. It means uh, it was treachery. My brother, my sister, later when they went into the forest, they found his bones. Animals had chewed him like Chichinga and left his bones there. Foul play was suspected from Hufwe Boanye. Up till now, they have never been able to find who killed him. In the burden of knowledge, oh, Papa, damn it, Fadio, oh, go, go. In the burden of knowledge, I ask you now that you know what to do. Be an any or lay a mini of our fair Zunakagan and Mezaka Yidia and Pabango Bokayan, Fifia and Yanukaina Wabana, and we're bed then. Lela and Jimma sing our bed, Kone.